It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a familiar yet a little different looking bottle on the table. What do we have? Mm -hmm. We have the Wild Turkey 70th Anniversary Jimmy Russell release. Wow, 70 years. Mm -hmm. That's... That's saying something. That's an accomplishment. Now the bourbon's not 70 years. Bourbon's That's crazy. Not 70 there would be nothing years. left. No, it's eight years. And, and it's kind of interesting how they talk about it on their own website. They say it's an eight-year bourbon that then has additional eight to nine-year bourbon that Jimmy picked out from his mm. favorite warehouses. Interesting. Okay. So to me, it sounds like a regular Wild Turkey 101, but they cap it at the youngest in there being eight. Uh, instead of putting in like the six and seven that they normally would. Mm -hmm. And then Jimmy was like, well, I like these eight and nines from my favorite warehouses. And then they mm -hmm. put that in there too. Okay. So. And that's kind of his like favorite age range, right? Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't, doesn't like it too much over nine. Right. Yeah. So that kind of makes sense that they would choose that age statement for this release to honor him. Yeah, exactly. Now let's talk about price uh, because, you know, the regular 101 is usually around 20 bucks. Yeah. Non-age stated though, uh, they say it's six to seven could maybe have some eight year in there for regular uh, 101, but there is no age statement, so there's nothing to hold them to, to that. It and how much of each, yeah. Right, uh, this being guaranteed eight, being the youngest, is $50. Okay. A $30 bump, not crazy. But you got the anniversary bottle. Yeah. You know. Very collectible. They could have done something else. They could have gone way up into the $200 range, and they didn't. So, Completely. You know, we got, yeah, like you said, a minimum eight year product, 101 mm -hmm. proof, 50 bucks. Yeah. This is pretty much in line with a lot of the things that we see nowadays. Yeah, exactly. You're you're playing the hits. You're playing the hits for me. The classic caramel vanilla, you know, that wild turkey. A wild turkey type spice. Of nose. Yeah. Yes. Very caramely, but also mm -hmm. it has this like interesting funkiness to it. I don't know how to explain it. Little orange peel pop. Yeah, in a little there. like fruity floral earthy mm -hmm. herbal. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'll just have to taste it to get better nose notes. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. But it doesn't really make sense, but it will. It makes sense. <laughs> it does. You, you get it if you They're get connected, it. They're connected, right? Yeah. They're connected. All right. To your health. Mm, mm. Yeah. And there's the spice. Mm. Um, Typical wild turkey spice level. Yep. Yeah. Some allspice, mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit of cinnamon. And then the barrel and more barrel, more barrel. than normal, which yes. makes sense, right? I guess that's kind of what the comparison is going to be, right? This yeah. to like regular Turkey 101, see you know how much of a departure is there between them. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I would definitely say I'm getting a little more oak coming through on this one. It feels a slightly more polished than your average everyday Turkey 101. Right, and I was kind of hoping for maybe a little bit of tobacco leaf. We might not be getting into that age range yet, or at least mm. I didn't get it on that first sip. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see in that all important second sip, but uh, yeah, it's pretty decently long finish. Entering the chest. Well, yeah, let's just go ahead for that second sip. Yeah, that like kind of earthy floral herbal thing that I was getting on the nose. It's like, um, and now I'm getting more of like a tea, maybe like a black tea mm. in here. And mm -hmm. I do get the orange zest that you mentioned earlier too, a little bit of orange in there yeah. um, with the spice and the oak. Yeah, more barrel, but also it's got the, not just the base notes, it's got the treble notes too. It's got that citrus, the mm -hmm. orange zest there kind of in the middle and towards the end that's uh, keeping it pretty well rounded, I mm -hmm. feel like. Mm -hmm. I feel like you do get that, you know, classic caramel vanilla note all the way through. But again, with those added notes of the tea, the spice. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a little bit of honey. I'm not sure. You know what? Um, wow. Is I, that what you were thinking? I was just on this, whatever sip, third sip. Just getting honey, okay. as you said it. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> yeah. I think that more so than like, I'm trying to think of like other sweet sugary things that I would say. I would think honey is the closest description on that one. Yeah, kind of like a honey comb because it's mm -hmm. almost, and I feel like that's where the, the wood is. It's sort of savory, uh, almost in like a, this sounds so weird, but like a salivating way. Like mm. you, you, you smell. I'm picturing barbecue. I'm not getting barbecue really notes. Maybe barbecue chips, if anything, on the finish. Mm. But like, you're, you're smelling it and you're salivating, and it's mm. maybe that's from the mouthfeel. I don't know. I wouldn't exactly call this like a really um, viscous mouthfeel. I mean, it's good, no, but it's, it's cut down to 101. Right. You know, if it if it were rare breed or, mm. or, or something else, I'm sure we'd be talking more about the mouthfeel. Mm. But it is decent in the mouthfeel department. I yeah. feel like that might kind of all be connected. Did any of that make sense? Kind of. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I haven't very often talked about a salivating note. That's yeah. kind of new. I know what you mean, though. Doing I this eight years, 
not quite 70, but doing it eight years. <laughs> no. And uh, you, you still get some new things that pop up from, <laughs> Truly. Time, from time to time. All right, well, you know, we got something in store for the second half of this video. So that means we are at the halfway point. So we're gonna hit pause the and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's ringing, oh, hoodies. It's gotten cold. We and had a cold a snap. So both sweatshirt. of us are wearing the hoodie, uh, hoodie sweatshirts, uh, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from, all of our glassware, including our mini Glens and Copitas, Elemental Elixir cocktail syrup, candles, and more, always coming soon at, at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And we have a handful of barrel picks that are about to roll out through the end of this year, and I'm super excited to see those. Yeah. Patrons get first crack at those. Sometimes they'll only crack at those. Sure. They also get access to our events, after the episode exclusives, and more. Yeah, one of those, or actually, well, two of those are from this distillery. Ooh. Well, Turkey should be by the end of the year. Ooh. Yeah, some Russells. Wow. The same. Exciting stuff. All right, we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna bring <laughs> something else I, into the mix. A special guest on? Special guest Great. that we're gonna drink. And we'll be right back after this. And we're back. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, you probably know what we're gonna do. I have a guess. We're going to oh. bring in a post-it note. A post-it note. note. <laughs> The, uh, the, yeah, the regular. It makes sense. Well, now, where'd regular. you put yours? Which side? Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Like that. It'll be in the monogram logo Great. for both of us. Just want to make sure we have the same order so as not to confuse myself <laughs> or anyone yeah. else. Now, I will say, I'm not, I'm not, haven't been a huge fan of the bottle redesign. I like the old label better, That's but okay. I do like this, the printed on glass, much better than, than the sticky label. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Even though the old one was a sticky label, but it was bigger and it wasn't, I don't know. Anyway. He so, doesn't like change. <laughs> what we're going to be doing here, although they change bottles a lot, don't they? They do. Or at least labels. We're going to be going uh, from the unaged stated, just regular old Wild Turkey 101, around 20 bucks, comparing it to, is this $30 mm. in price worth the jump? And I feel like that's the real question of this episode. Is it worth it? True. I know. Let me work it. it. No. Oh, no. I fought it. I failed. I failed you. I failed you, Master Wayne. All right. We've got this on the palette, the we 70th, so, yeah, so we're so just gonna, gonna go in with the uh, regular 101. Oh, the nose is, you can tell, like, a lot less rich, bold, you know, oh, spice true. oak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels thinner on the nose. A lot more treble in this mix. Oh, okay. Yeah. And maybe even more citrus. Also, like, and I don't mean that it is astringent, but it comes off in comparison as a little bit more astringent. Sure, in comparison now, <laughs> you know, if we didn't have this and we were just starting here, we Who might knows? not have picked not that, said that up. that. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, classic Wild Turkey 101 nose. Yeah. To your health again. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you're comparing those, regular 101's a lot thinner. Thinner. It's a lot thinner. Mm -hmm. it, it does not ho hold up. It's definitely a difference between these two. It's not just like they slapped 70th anniversary on one, and so that way you should spend $30 more. <laughs> There's definitely a reason as to why this is $30 more. Now, do we agree with the $30? I think that's well, the question. Well, we're still working on that. Still working on that. Uh, of course, we won't be giving this one a fair shake until we give it a second sip, because, you know, getting acclimated, all that jazz. Mm. Oh, there you are, Peter. Okay, yeah. Now, after the second sip, Hook? I got no, I know. Okay. I just couldn't figure out why you brought that up. Come on. Because I was looking for the regular old Wild Turkey 101, and there there it is on that there second sip. Yeah. I mean, if you're just pouring this and you don't have anything else to compare it to. It's just for 20 bucks. Yeah. It's standard Wild Turkey 101. You're, yeah. Everybody's happy. It's Every, fine. Everyone's having a good time. Right. Everyone's having and a I good agree time. with that too. Mm -hmm. But in comparison, you know. Right. Fly fight effect almost. Yeah. Side I will by say side. on the finish, yeah, you know, a few more harsh edges, sharp edges mm. on it. Again, something you're probably not going to pick up on unless you're comparing it to, you right. know, it's superior. Um, I'm going to do one more. Okay. I think I'm set. I think I'm just going to go back to the <clears throat> 70th. And then, yeah, which will probably be my, I might have to get some more. Oh, oh no. no. We'll have to get some more. How tragic. <laughs> tragic. Tragedy. Oh, yeah. Talk about a mouthfeel difference between the two of them. This big, one, big I mean, difference. big mouthfeel difference. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, uh, more oak, more pr um, presence of mm -hmm. age, mm -hmm. which it is there. Yeah, it definitely comes mm. across as older. More developed, more polished. Yeah, definitely more viscous. It's sort of like Kentucky Spirit, right? Going it from- It does kind of remind <laughs> me, yeah, more Going from that. here to the 101 proof of Kentucky Spirit, mm -hmm. which, which, you know, is basically around the same price, uh, Kentucky Spirit and, and one of these. That's true. Um, 
So hmm. there's that to consider. There is that. I mean, I guess I'll say I'm glad that they priced it where they did. I think if they had tried to take it up any further, I don't think, like I think it's pretty spot on for the difference between these two bottles and the price difference between these two bottles. If they had tried to make the 70th anniversary bottle $90, $100, I just don't think there's enough of a difference to warrant that price range. So I'm glad they landed where they did. They also could have said, you know, a barrel. Why would you do, what? you can't do a 101 70, it has to be 101. I guess they could have done like a much older 101 and called it $150. Well, but then, then your 12 year, which already Right, which already exists. exists. And yeah. I don't I mean, know, I think it landed in the right place. The, the eight makes so much sense because back in the 90s in the US, 101 used to be eight year. Mm. Then that went away and it was still eight year overseas. So I think the eight just makes sense. But when you were talking about the price up around $100, and I was making faces because before this, I looked online and guess what they're selling for? 100, 110. No, uh, don't yeah, buy that. Not worth it for that unless Unless you were just like such a, a collector, such a collector, and you and want Jimmy to sign it, or only something. way you can find it. Right. And that's the thing I was thinking about this. There's probably going to be a lot of these bottles in the world <laughs> that never get opened because they've been signed. And you know what? I don't have one signed, but I'm probably going to try to get it signed. So I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying one of mine will probably. We'll probably. Oh, okay. <sighs> I mean, you know. But look, that's this one's open, you. and I'm drinking. This one it. is open, and we are drinking. Yeah. It. Uh, you know, that's up to you. You're. <laughs> Your dollars to spend, your product to do with it, whatever you it's, please, I it's suppose. It's the problem of being both a drinker and a collector slash mm. fan, right? It's, yeah. It's a thing. See, I just have the drinker part down. <laughs> <laughs> but back just to the eight year here, uh, recommend or not, I would say for 50 bucks, we actually found ours at a big box store for I think 54. So just a tad bit more than what they suggest. Yeah, I'm gonna give it the recommend. Yeah, I think it's a solid turkey product. Um, you know, it's fun to try the limited edition. I'd mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there we go. Okay, well, that's where I better leave it. If you haven't subscribed us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.